Hey love, welcome to another episode of Shantana Cooking Vlog where we cook, mix, serve, eat and drink. Guys, I want y'all to take a moment and imagine y'all eating some of this curry shrimp with some Irish potato like mm mm mm. This meal is to die for. So if you're all interested to see how I prepare it, make sure I watch from the start to the end. So the shrimp that we'll be using for today comes from marine forest seafood we're using the ease peel shrimp in the size large this is a 40 to 51 pound with the shell on so i'm just showing you how the packaging actually look before we start preparing the shrimp So I'm just going to pull the package and show you guys how the shrimp are looking on the inside. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour them in a clean container where I'm going to wash them properly. But I totally forgot to add vinegar in the water. So if you have vinegar or lime juice or lime, you can also squeeze some or pour some in the water to wash them. But a quick disclaimer before I get deep down in this video. I did not read the packaging to show that there was shell on it. So it's when I asked my big sister to come by to look on them after seasoning them up. She was like, girl, did you peel the shell off? And I'm like, no, there, there's no need to. Then I had to go back individually and actually remove all the shell from them. I didn't even get the chance to like show you guys what exactly I'm talking. But somewhere along the video, you're going to see I hold up a clear shell to show you exactly how we do so please guys make sure you read the packages that you get and don't be like me that do not read the packaging and jump right into cooking that is bad so i've washed two times so now i'm just draining off all the water to go and add my season to it which as i said i did not peel off the shell i don't know what i was thinking but that's exactly what i'm showing that's how the shell looks so so I'm going to use the Maggi all-purpose season and the Maggi fish season as well. And I'm just going to apply these two powder to the shrimp and then season it up. so these are how the shrimp are looking after applying the powder to the shrimp so i'm gonna let it sit in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes and come back for it i went off camera and boiled the irish potatoes that i'm going to use i'm going to use a better pack curry powder i'm going to need some grace coconut milk powder as well and i went off camera to prepare the sweet potato scallion pepper garlic and onion these are how the shrimp looking after i remove them from the and we're going to need some cooking oil as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and pour the cooking oil in the pot. Make sure the stove is actually light and make sure the pot is actually dried out because you don't want to have any water in the pot while you're adding the cooking oil to it as well. Try not to use too much but at the same time you want enough oil in the pot where the vegetable can actually saute properly. So I let the oil heat it up for a little minute and then I'm going to go in and add all my pepper, garlic, onion, some of my scallion and some of my sweet pepper as well. So I'm going to let that saute for a little while after combining everything for just maybe 5 minutes there about. Just make sure that you're stirring properly so that the vegetable don't start burning.
So after letting the vegetable saute for five minutes, I'm just going to go ahead with my better pot curry powder and I'm just going to stir that in to ensure that all the vegetables are covered in the curry. After all the vegetables is covered with the curry powder, I'm just going to let this stay for like 10 minutes there about. And during the process, I'm going to ensure that I'll be stirring so that the curry is not burned and the vegetables are not burned as well. So the vegetables are sauteed for 10 minutes i'm going to go in with my grease coconut milk powder but guys i want y'all to take a look once i start pouring the milk in the curry y'all see that creaminess oh my gosh like this is where the kitchen is about to turn all the way up like it's about to turn all the way up so i'm just gonna let everything stir you properly and evenly distribute throughout the pot and then i'm gonna let this boil for maybe 10 minutes thereabouts and then come back for it so this is exactly what i love to see when it starts to make foam and you all see the season on top so i'm just gonna stir it again and then come right back in to add a little bit more pulp lower in it it kind of wanted a little bit more but so i just went ahead and add some more story let that sit for another five minutes thereabouts and then after which i'm going to add my irish potato to it tasting the sauce i realized that it was lacking some pepper so i did went ahead with a pepper seed and just drop that in the pot Mm -hmm. i think that's where all the sauciness actually comes from mm -hmm. when i add that pepper seed in the pot so i'm just going to stir it and let it stay there for a few minutes and then come back with my irish potatoes um for me personally i think it's best to when you um pre-cook the irish potato because it kind of helps to save time as well and it's just easier when you actually pre-cook the irish potato so i'm just gonna stir that to leave that for around 10 minutes and then come back so this is how the sauce actually looking after 10 minutes the irish potato are actually fully cooked out now so i'm just want to show you guys and it always good to let the gravy actually thick first before you actually go ahead with the shrimp because remember the shrimp actually don't take long to prepare like five minutes five to six minutes and the shrimp is actually cooked so you want to make sure that the sauce is ready make sure any vegetable that you put in it's like you know well prepared before you had the shrimp in it as well so i'm going to go for the shrimp from the fridge then i'm going to add them in the pot and let this saute properly make sure that the sauce is evenly distributed right throughout like all of them yeah so i'm just adding all my shrimp guys if you could smell it mm, it smells so good and then make sure you add all the juice from it as well like don't waste that juice y'all so this is how it actually looking so i'm going to give you a close stirring of it just take your time and try to ensure that the sauce is salty right throughout all the shrimp
so i'm going to go in with the sweet pepper that i have left over and some of the scallion and then i'm just going to even distribute them right throughout the shrimp and then i'm going to cover it and let it sit for six minutes there about and then come back to you all dinner is actually finished guys so make sure you go wash your hands and come for your dinner this is the finishing look of my curry shrimp with irish potato served with some brown rice y'all the presentation is not so 100 but y'all the meal is done like the meal is done not to mention the taste of it mm. make sure i give this meal a try comment share tell a friend to tell a friend to come by and subscribe Bye!